going on guys so right here in this video we're gonna go over AMS ads a lot of talk about it right now a, a lot of people are doing it it's getting competitive <clears throat> and I just kind of want to give you guys a clear view and just go sh like over it and kind of give you a, like a better idea on how it works first off by first off if you want to scale any type of business you want to run ads you want to run advertisement like doesn't matter like it doesn't matter what you do like okay you're making ten thousand dollars a day or I mean you're making ten thousand dollars a month on your merch account but then you can be making sixteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars a month if you just run ads ads basically you're gonna scale your business with ads there's if you're not running it and you're making that type of profit like you're, you're leaving money on the table very simple because Let's say you have a shirt that's making 20 sales organically. Why not uh, get it in front of more people so they can see it and they can make and they can make another 30 or 40 sales just by running ads. Okay, it don't happen like that, but you will get one or two. Like say if you're making two sales, you'll you'll make three or four sales. You have a better chance of making three or four sales in a day if you just run ads. So yeah, like I said, it's just AMS ads uh, they work okay and let's say you're just starting off and you want sales run AMS ads do it cheap okay go with the cost per click get it down low and you're gonna run ads to it okay um, you let you got tier 10 you can only upload uh, 10 designs uh, right now run ads to your shirts okay it's when you run ads you're gonna show your your shirt to more people okay when you show your shirt to more people you will have a better chance of people clicking on it. The customer will actually click on, has a better chance of clicking on the shirt. Now let's say they click on your shirt, you make a sale. Okay, now with AMS ads, it takes a couple of days. Sometimes not, they don't even track it. Okay, There's just it, it won't track it because it, they pick a different color or something like that and it won't track it. Now, you make that sale. You make your first sale. Okay, you make your first sale, your shirt is going to rank organically now. And you're still running ads to it. So when you're still running ads to it, more people see it. But not only that, now it's ranked organically. So it has, now you just doubled your chances of it, that shirt making a sale. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Makes that makes sense to you right there. You just doubled your chances by running ads to it. But not only that, it already made it sell. So it's ranked organically. Excuse me. So yeah, that's, that's very big. Like the way I just said it right there, understand that. That's very powerful. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter what business you do. You want to run advertisement to your business so you can get more sales. More sales equals more profit. But you got to be careful, though. You can't uh, put the uh, cost per click. You can't put this cost per click to a dollar and then all of a sudden just leave and then forget about it. No. You got to pay attention to it. You got to see. You got to mess with it. You got to understand that it's all about testing. And then you find that sweet spot and all of a sudden just you're just making sales and you're killing it. And you're just going crazy with the ad and just all of a sudden just making sales. Okay, so let's go into this right here. This is I'm gonna show you the shirt as an example. It's a nurse niche, nurse nurse tea. It's a yeah. Nine clicks. So the impressions right here. Eighteen hundred people. it got it in front of eighteen hundred people. Nine people clicked on it. Okay, um so with the two cells, I mean with with thirty three dollars ninety cents, I'm assuming it's two cells. Okay, so out of these nine people that click two of them purchase so you can see the percentage right there and then I was getting a cost per click average cost per click at 13 cents and that is really cheap if you understand the power of Amazon like people trust Amazon and if you can get a cost per click in the Facebook world I think it's below a dollar or 50 cents that's really big the lower this number is the better Straight up, like if the lower this number is, the better because it's gonna get it. It's gonna get it in front of more people, but it's not only that. People are clicking on it for, like, basically pennies. Like that's powerful. Like, yeah, like usually people pay 
thousands and thousands of dollars for that type of advertisement for someone to even make a purchase. So yeah, understand that. So this is a sponsored ad. I'm gonna show you how exactly how I did it. Now what you're starting off at, like you can mess with it. You can either you can go to zero two, which it probably is gonna take some time for you to make a sale. The more you the more the the cost per click, the higher the the higher it is, the more Amazon's gonna put it in front of people. Because the reason being is Amazon sees that you want to spend money and it's like that means something to them. Like if they see that you want to spend the money, they're gonna share your shirt more. Right off the back. So, but with you, with a, as a, a merch seller, you want to kind of get the cost per click as low as possible, and you don't want to be spending two dollars per click or a dollar per click or fifty cents. Fifty cents per click depends if you're just trying to boost that shirt and get it up in the rankings right away. So you come in here, you just do fifty cents. Now it doesn't mean. Now this doesn't mean your your cost per click is going to be fifty cents all the time. Okay, it can be. It's not going to go above 50 cents if you do it this way, but it can be 13 cents like this right here. You know what I mean? It can be 10 cents. It can be 3 cents. It can be 4 cents. Depends how competitive the niche is and if other people are running ads in that niche too as well. So starting off, you can just, like I would do 25 cents just starting off. And yeah, and I'm going to show you exactly the shirt that's that made the two sales. So $1.20, spent $1.20, made $33.90 in sales. I'll take that all day. That's probably like eight dollars in profit, eight times as much. Like I spent a dollar to make eight dollars profit. I'll take that all day. So let's go into the shirt. I'll show it to you, and I'll show you exactly what I did. <clears throat> so it's a no shirt, as you can see. Cute little design. So women's and usually what I do if I see a shirt that makes a sale organically because I'm just uploading so many shirts if I see a shirt make a sale right away I'm going to run an AMS ad to it and then I'm going to pay attention to it and I'm going to make sure it's not spending like like crazy amount of money on it and if it starts making sales I'm going to keep it running. So I, for example I found a evergreen shirt that is making me sales every single day. Some days it makes four sales, some days it makes two sales, some days it makes ten sales. But I'm running ads to it. And it's ranked organically. It's been staying under a hundred K in sales. Okay, over a long period of time. It's like probably for like a month or so, month and a half or so. And <clears throat> it's been making sales. But I found one shirt that's making an uh, evergreen shirt that's making sales. And I left that ad go run into it. Then I found a second shirt. And it's doing the same exact thing as the first shirt. And I kept the ads running to it. Because I already know that it's a profitable shirt. Those are my money makers right there. And I'm going to leave the ads running to those. Okay. And I have the cost per click down low. So understand how powerful that is. What I just explained to you right there. Like, like I know that that shirt. That's my money shirt. You know what I mean? So why not run ads to it and keep it going? Like keep it boost, like keep the sales rank low, the sales coming in, five to 10 uh, shirt sales a day, like I'll take that all day just with two shirts. Okay, now it, now my next goal is I'm gonna find a third shirt, four shirt, you know, and keep it all the way going. I wanna find 40 shirts, and I'm gonna run AMS ads to them and keep it going, simple. So, okay, it's a woman women's shirt, here size, large, Okay, then it's going to create a whole different ASIN number. I'm going to copy that. Come over here. Oh. Spill it. Now, okay, another thing too. So the sponsored so the sponsored product ads, headline search ads, and then product display ads. Okay, these are three different types of ads. Okay, like I said, with ads, they're all a test. Test them all. Get, get your number one shirt. Throw them all in. Test each individual one. Like, hey, like, what do you got to lose? Like, if it's making sales and you want to scale that shirt and it's already making sales with the sponsored product ad, <clears throat> try it in the headline search ad. Then try it in the product display ad. See what happens. Like, it's all the tests. Like, if it doesn't work out in those two, cancel them. But it's still working in the product or the sponsored product ad, keep it going. Like, like understand that you're scaling that shirt you're making it more sales so, Amazon 
add right here the campaign name okay now with all my shirts my campaign name shirts what I like to do so for example with the Christmas niche let's say um, I'm running 30 ads to a to all I'm running all 30 shirt ads to Christmas okay I don't care what the design is it can be reindeer or whatever but to make it more simple it can be a reindeer shirt it can be a penguin shirt it can be a uh, I don't know whatever type of snowman shirt if it's related to Christmas in that niche doesn't matter keep it all the campaign name under the Christmas but put Christmas so for example it'll put Christmas Christmas shirt and I really don't care about the design at this point I'm just worried about what the customer wants if the customer is liking that shirt and it's showing me a lot of sales then of course later on I'm, I will care about the design I want to see what shirt is making sales so to make it more simple because later on let's say when the Chris when Christmas uh, is over you want to go back type in Christmas and then pause all them ads or terminate all terminate all the ads and then yeah it'd be much more easier for you to keep track of all the ads running so for example with this one it's the nurse niche we're just gonna do nurse shirt and five dollars you can like well okay so both my evergreen shirts I have them up to twenty dollars right now I started them off with the five and the ten and then next next you know I'm at twenty dollars and I'm not gonna tell you the cost per click because yeah <clears throat> I'm at twenty dollars per day and it's it's not spending all the twenty dollars okay sometimes it only spends like two dollars in the day but it's making sales you know what I mean so let's go down and the duration time run campaign continuous starting today continuously starting today okay and then just pay attention to it you can't just put this ad down and then all of a sudden just leave for like two weeks and then come back and you see that you spent thirty dollars and it made no sales don't do that don't do that now just keep it simple automatic targeting and like I said it's all a test you can even mess with manual the manual bit like you can go in there in that niche and see like what's what traffic what keywords are driving traffic to that niche and you can drive traffic to your shirt okay it's all a test there's like nothing to hide here just go in and test it yourself and see what works for you because it's gonna work differently it's gonna work different for different people like you just gotta find it now but what I recommend is come in automatic target targeting okay and just do the 25 cents now if you want to get a little brave you can do 50 cents okay you can do 75 but starting out and you don't know what you're doing and you haven't messed with it and you're not sure if it's gonna spend all your money just do the 25 cents you can even do 10 cents 20 cents 2 cents 5 cents whatever whatever you think you want to mess around with like if you want to launch five ads just to mess around with it do the 25 cents just pay attention to it though watch it okay and that's it and you're just gonna come down here because I already have this ad already launched just press launch and then go go from there and the ads gonna start it takes about an hour to to actual start running and if you don't see any impressions it's most likely because your cost per click is low Amazon knows like if Amazon sees that you want to spend a dollar or two dollars on your cost per click they're gonna drive traffic to your to your listing to your shirt okay so they see that that you want to spend money so they're gonna favor you a little bit and drive traffic to your shirt so yeah that's all I have to say for this video hopefully you guys scale and just kill it with the numbers and good luck with quarter four and just finish this year off, year off strong and good luck any questions of course comment me you can message me tag me in the group to whatever you guys feel like you have to do to get my attention alright and I appreciate you guys like and subscribe Let's <laughs> go.